Alright, to make the edges of the blade, we're going to merge um, some points, merge some vertices. And to do that, we're going to use W. So, box select using B, select the bottom right vertices, press W, merge at center. And it'll tell you how many vertices are removed. Then press A to deselect, box select these vertices, W, merge, at center, and it'll tell you how many were removed. Now, I'm going to show you how we made it, um, a sharp edge. You see how these vertices are separated? We just join them at the center, making a sharp edge. Alright, so, I'm going to press 3 again. Press A to deselect, and then B to box select these. Do the same thing, W, Merge at center, and same thing here. W merge at center. All right. So this is our um, blade so far. Now all that's left to do is to stretch it and press three to go back to front view. All that's left to do is to stretch it across the length of the blade from here to here so we're gonna press A to select all press G and then Z to um, move it on the Z axis and move it um, up just beyond the end of the blade on this side if you notice mine isn't exactly perfect but it doesn't have to be it's just a tutorial for you yours can be a lot better so um, now we're going to um, stretch it down to the bottom so press A and then press B and select the bottom vertices press G and then Z and pull it down all the way to where the triangular part starts don't go past it I'm going to press period on the number pad then press A to deselect and then B to reselect them. I don't know why I deselected them in the first place. Press E to extrude, which is something a little bit new. And then click region and pull it down. And click once you get almost to the end. Then press W and merge them. This time it should say you remove five vertices. Merge that sensor. So press G and move it to fit into the shape of the um, picture and here's what you should have so far. Hold Alt and click. You can press Tab and Z to get a good look at um, your model without you know being able to see through it so you can see how it looks. It looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to go back to front view, press tab and Z to go back to edit mode, wireframe mode. And now I'm going to start making the handle of the sword. Starting with that half sphere up, at, up there at the top. Okay, so far in Blender, we've created the blade of our sword, so all that's left to do now is the handle. And the first part of the handle is this half sphere type thing. And I'm going to um, zoom into this part. This part right here, this um, half sphere for the handle. And to do that, I'm going to sort of cut a, um, a sphere in half. Not really cut it in half, but sort of. You'll see what I mean. So, press space and click well, don't, you don't have to click add, but go to add and click UV sphere. Not isosphere, UV sphere. Then click OK. And press G and move it up, but don't, um, put it over here yet. I'm going to press period on the number pad. 
Now what I would what we have to do is we have to flatten this bottom side so that it'll look like this. So press A to deselect and then B to box select. Start down here and go all the way up to the to the um just past the middle. So right there so we got all the ones from the middle and then we're gonna press S and then Z scale it down to almost nothing then G and then Z and pull it back up alright I'm gonna press A to deselect and then B select it all scroll out press G and don't um, cover the blade yet put it right above it because if you look in front view you'll see that compared to the um, blade it's really really um, way too thick so I'm gonna press S and then X and scale it down and just see your liking and then press 3 again to go back to side view and press period on the um, number pad. Alright, now we can move it down. G, Z, or you don't even have to press Z. But you'll notice that it's a bit tall for um for this part. So to make it shorter, or to scale it vertically, press S and then Z. Just scale it down just a little bit. And then, once that's done, you can press A to deselect. And look what you have so far. So, now that that part's done, you just have this sphere here and the handle. So, to do this part, we're just going to add a cylinder.